Gravity Cast. In this episode, we continue to work on the environmental concept for the Abyss of Sil Haldun. In episode two, we determined we were going to use ancient Mayan architecture as a reference point for this design. So I gathered a few interesting photos that I could use. So with these new references, uh, I started reworking the design a little bit, with the biggest difference being a waterfall that would fall down into the middle of the abyss. I also wanted to add some more man-made structures to this so it didn't feel as organic. And I used this stepped Mayan temple as a reference. In the current version of the concept, I felt like we were losing a lot of the scale because of the very high camera angle, so I wanted to redraw that with a lower view. Starting with a horizon line that's much lower in the image, and started blocking out all the major shapes in perspective. I just stuck with one point perspective for this drawing because it was a lot easier. At this point is where the majority of the design started to come together with the waterfall and all of the surrounding details and also wanted to try to incorporate some of that alternating pattern as well. Then I zoomed out so you could see a little bit more of the area surrounding it and the coastline. But with the high back and the oval front, it started to look kind of like an ancient toilet. So I decided to go with a more square opening that would also give it more of the man-made feel as well. So I added some of the details back in. Since we were pretty happy with the design so far, I wanted to do some orthographic drawings of the area so I had a general feel for uh, the space that everything was in. So I started out by doing a top view of the area so I could get a better layout of the land surrounding the structure, and then started working on a side view. I started by adding the cliff and the waters and then also added some support structures in behind. And finally, uh, putting the alternating pattern uh, around that waterfall opening for the abyss. And I started adding some environmental touches to the design, like clouds and trees. I didn't like how the steps were turning out, and you couldn't really see them very well from this angle, so I decided to try a different direction with these as well. This would add entrances and steps on the sides of the abyss rather than just in the front. And to add a little more mystery to this design, uh, we decided to cut out the center of the structure to make it look like the waterfall is kind of flowing out of midair. So with most of the design done, I started to do some color blocking just to get a general feel for how this was going to look and started doing some really basic light and shadow. And here's where we ended up, our finished piece of concept art for the Abyss of Sil Hall Dune. Now I'm definitely going to finish this and get it on the map and also on the card before starting anything new, but I wanted to hint at a few things that we're probably going to start next, which will likely be these wagon designs, which are a huge part of the game. Once again, I'd like to thank all the viewers and contributors who are stopping by to help build this world. Stay safe and keep creating.